Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today I will be showing you an Alcon W31 Mariner high pressure air compressor and specifically we'll be looking into how to set the final pressure on this compressor. This is an automatic design, same compressor is also available in the manual ones and for both designs I will try to explain you how to set up the final pressure. This is the automatic model. So the automatic compressor comes with a pressure switch uh, attached to purifier tower. This, this pressure switch detects the air pressure in the purifier and turns the compressor off. And the, when the pressure starts going down on the purifier tank, it turns the compressor on. So the, on the automatic models, first thing you need to adjust is the pressure switch. This is our pressure switch. There's a window in front of it. It shows you what it, what is the cutoff pressure. Right now it's around 300 bars. And as I raise the uh, final pressure, this red dot would start going up, up and down. The red screw at the top, this is how you adjust the pressure, uh, final pressure. Turning this to clockwise will raise the cutoff pressure. Turning it to counterclockwise, it will drop the final cutoff pressure. First thing I need to do is start my compressor and, to, and see what pressure it will automatically stop. That way I will know if I have to raise or decrease the pressure setting on the pressure switch. Compressor stopped around 4000 PSI. I want to raise this up to 4500 PSI. Uh, to do that, I need to turn this red knob with a screw, Phillips head screwdriver to clockwise. I will start doing a half, half round and to see now I, ha I will have my compressor restart to see what pressure it will stop. Compressor stopped around 4,000 uh, 300 psi so I still have some room to go up so I'll do the same thing I'll turn this red knob to clockwise I will do another half round and start my compressor to start the re to restart the compressor I'll just uh, drain a little bit air from the purifier tower it will restart itself now my pressure switch is set to 4500 psi and it's good all good there but one thing, one another thing to consider is there is a pressure relief valve on these compressors. If, if pressure switch fails, pressure switch valve will start releasing the air after certain pressure. And this should be aligned according to the final pressure on the pressure switch. So my pressure switch is 4,500 PSI. This should be set around 4,700 PSI. And we have another video on our YouTube channel showing you how to set the final pressure on the pressure relief valve. I recommend you watching that as well. Now I will turn my compressor off. Now it's on the standby mode. So I'll release some air. It will restart itself. 
and I can turn the compressor off. Thank you for watching.